GTF Kisa was good. Another day, another video. GTF was good. GTF was good. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. Check. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. GTS was going on, man. As you guys can see, we on the road with it right now, you heard? We on the road with it right now. And to be honest with y'all, it's a cloudy day, you heard? So it's looking like it's gonna rain today again. You feel me? It's only the first day of the business week, you heard me? It's only the first business day of the week. And it's looking like it's gonna rain already, you understand? And I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't on that type of vibe, you heard? I'm tired of that rain, you heard? But GTF was good though, man. What's good, man? As far as food today, man, um, it's been a long time since I had uh, Boston Market. I was on a live this morning on YouTube Live, and somebody mentioned something about Boston Market. I'm like, dang, you know what? I had Boston Market in a minute, yeah. When I say a minute, I mean a minute. I had Boston Market, so I took it upon myself. I go on the um, Boston Market platform. I see Boston Market got rotisserie chicken nuggets. You heard? Like, damn, this sounds fat. I don't even know if it's still available. You feel me? Because I was on the gram and I saw it on their Instagram, man. Uh, but it was like the last time. Was I on their page or somebody else's page? And showing that the last time they posted was like 22 weeks ago. So I don't remember if that was Boston Market page. But whatever. Anyway, I don't know if it's still available or not. But you know what I mean? Like, I ain't never had no rotisserie chicken nuggets before and you feel me i want to see what that hitting for you know what i'm saying i want to see what's that hitting for so we on our way to boston market with it right now you're you feel me i don't know hopefully they got it i really want to try these um these um um rotisserie chicken nuggets you feel me so that's where we headed we heard about to focus on this road because we in traffic let go in this uh plaza right here yeah okay i see this towards the back on the right hand side yeah oh so this was okay so this was that other place that's another place in here that i've been thinking about hitting up i just seen it i don't know for future reference when i decide to whenever i decide to come and try that other spot all i know is that interesting yeah Interesting. But y'all found me go right here, you understand me? I ain't been to Boston Market in forever. Alright fam, let's go see what these rotisserie nuggets hitting for. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't been to Boston Market in a long time, boy. It look like they don't revamp the menu. They got this right here, sweet garlic, some new sweet Thai garlic. Yeah. What's this right here? Perry, Perry, Perry rotisserie chicken. I don't know what that supposed to mean. Yeah. This is what we here for right here, rotisserie nuggets. Yeah. But let's go in here and see what's popping. You understand me? Yeah. Man, yeah, boss, the monkey with it right now. combo the combo all right fam we got the grub yeah grub on sight don't cause no fight Ugh. all right fam we in the whip yard and you already know i got the grub yard and voila thing smelling good yard thing smelling good all right, fan, time to set up Grub Tip Mobile Studios. Oh, 
y'all already know the vibes. Let me lock my door. Um, my mask. Wipes. But yeah, fam, we had to come and try these, um, rotisserie chicken nuggets from Boston Market. They smell good. You know how they gonna taste, but they smell good, you heard? People always be texting me, bro. So yeah, so I got the grill. This the receipt. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Who keep texting me, bro? Fam, I ain't gonna lie. Boston Market is expensive, bro. So I got these chicken nuggets. Um, all this stuff that I got is individual. So I got the chicken nuggets. I got the chicken nuggets. Uh, the chicken nuggets is the 12 count. That was $7.90. I got one mac and cheese, the small mac and cheese. I don't know if they got them in different sizes, but I got a mac and cheese, a small container. That was $3.99. I got one cornbread. Cornbread is $1.49. Subtotal $13.38. 94 cents sales tax. Total $14.32. That's kind of expensive, if you ask me. This is not grub. For under half a dub, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I thought I was gonna eat for under half a dub today. I thought I was. All I got is a 12 count of nuggets, mac and cheese, and cornbread. And that thing came with a 14 dollars. Even if it was a little bit over half a dub, I would say maybe 10 and change. You know, 10 dollars and change. But dog, this is 14, bro, almost 15 dollars. Sheesh. Boston Market ain't playing no games out here, boy. They price is through the roof. Let's pop this thing open. You know what I'm saying? So we got the 12 count nuggets right here. We got the mac and cheese right here. You understand me? Alright, fan, that close up action. Yard. Mac and cheese looking cheesy, yeah. These are rotisserie nuggets, 12 count. Rotisserie nuggets looking good and seasoned, yeah. And it's that cornbread. You gonna eat your cornbread? And have you guys ever had these rotisserie nuggets before from Boston Market? Let me know, drop them in the comments. You gotta pull one for the GTF. All right, fam. Here go right here, you heard? Got the mac and cheese. I done tried that already. Got the cornbread. I done tried that already. For the short film video, of course. You understand me? Got the grilled. I mean, you got the rotisserie chicken nuggets. You understand me? All right, fam. So we gonna just go ahead and just do this or what have you. And then after that, I got something else I wanna show y'all. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna show y'all once we done with this. You understand me? Take y'all on a little trip with me real quick once we done with this. All right, so first we got the mac and cheese. Yeah, y'all see that thing looking nice and cheesy, but of course, this is fast food mac and cheese. You feel me? So, can't compare fast food mac and cheese with soul food restaurant mac and cheese. Like, the mac, especially the mac and cheese I had yesterday from that from, from, from the restaurant in Fort Myers. So, at the same time, it's like when you rate rating mac and cheese, you can't put fast, in my opinion, you can't put fast food mac and cheese in the same category with soul food mac and cheese because it's totally made different, you feel me? So, hey, you got to take fast food mac and cheese for what it is. Here it is, fast food. With that being said, mac and cheese. Hit that bit. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It's fast food mac and cheese. I mean, 
It's about the same level as KFC mac and cheese, Popeye's mac and cheese, fast food mac and cheese. So you got to take it for what it is. In my opinion, fast food, especially some of their side items, I mean, yes, it does have some flavor to it or what have you. They got to put some type of flavor on it, you feel me? But it's not really designed for a person to be like, ooh, this thing is so flavorful, juicy, whatever. Got all these flavors and savory and all that. To me, it's not really designed for all that. It's really just designed to, sleep, to, keep, your, to keep your stomach from growling. Like, like, this mac and cheese is okay. You know, it tastes decent. But it's fast food mac and cheese, you feel me? I can't compare it to the soul food restaurant mac and cheese. They got, you know, it's cheesy or whatever. Yeah. Basically, it's just designed to keep your stomach from ground. That's what I get from it, Jerry. It's all right. Fast food mac and cheese, it's all right. Now, we got the cornbread. Cornbread, baby. Boy food. Mm. Ain't gonna lie, fam. And y'all know. Well, basically, you know, y'all always be saying, well, not everybody, but some people, because they don't really pay attention to the video. He likes everything. He likes everything. Bitch. And that's not the case. I just don't. I just don't really feel like I got to destroy a restaurant just because the food ain't good. And when I say that, I mean, like, I can say, the food needs work. Instead of saying, oh, this food is trash. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I mean? Like being real nasty about it. Bitch. That's just my style, you feel me? It's not everybody's style. And you feel me? This person here. And you feel me? That's just my style. I'm not knocking anybody else's style. So with that being said, this cornbread here needs work. You understand me? This cornbread is hard. It's too hard. But of course, like I said, it's fast food cornbread. So it's not going to be like that homemade corn, like that homemade cornbread that your grandma made or your mama made. It ain't that. Feel me? I done taste some cornbread before. That'd be fat. But of course, that's cornbread from like soul food restaurants. Cornbread that my mama made. Or you feel me? It's cornbread that somebody's grandma made and stuff like that. This cornbread, it's hard. It's tough. It's just a hype. Like I said, it'll keep your stomach from growling if you're hungry. If you're starving like Marvin. This will help you out, Jerry. Now, for the rotisserie, chicken nuggets. Now, as you can see, the rotisserie chicken nuggets, they got that seasoning. I don't know if you guys can see that real good in the camera. Rotisserie chicken nugget. Hey, baby. Be? Mm. Mm-hmm. Rotisserie chicken nugget. Oh boy! Now y'all see what I just did? That's for those out there who say, oh, he never, everything can't be on point. Y'all never really watched my video, because just because I see you guys here on point in the video, you guys assume that I said the whole meal was on point. When in fact, if there's multiple items in the video and the food thing that I'm that I'm that I'm eating, I might say one thing is on point, and I might say one thing ain't hitting on nothing. So that can't mean that everything is on point. In which I just told y'all, rotisserie chicken nuggets, on point. Cornbread, not on point. Mac and cheese, not on point. They just designed to keep your stomach from growling. Like, they ain't the best. They're fast food items. They cool. You feel me? That's about it. They ain't the best. But this rotisserie, I can get, you feel me? I mess with this rotisserie chicken nugget. Mm-hmm. Rotisserie nugget. Juicy, tender, flavorful, all that. I would most definitely get these again. Oh, definitely. You ever heard about making food with love? This cornbread was made without a care in the world. 
That's how I feel about it. Chicken nuggets. Now I would definitely get you what's your chicken, chicken nuggets again. As far as the size go, cornbread, I probably wouldn't get that again. The mac and cheese, I probably would get it again because at the end of the day, like I said, it's designed to keep your stomach from gratis. So if I go to a Boston market to get some rotisserie chicken nuggets, and I feel like the rotisserie chicken nuggets are not really gonna hold me over, I might want to throw another extra item in there. I might jump on the mac and cheese too, you feel me? I don't hate the mac and cheese, but it definitely needs work. But then again, it's a fast food, it's a fast food restaurant. So But then again, it's a fast food restaurant. So how much work can you really give it? You feel me? Because at fast food, it's not your grandma making a mac and cheese at the fast food restaurant. You feel me? Like they got their way of making things and people gotta stick to the strip, you heard? Man, what it is. What do people got going on next to me, bro? Hurry up and get down the car and move, bro. Crazy. Rotisserie chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. That rotisserie chicken nuggets was fat. Mm. Washing it down with this sprite. 